record. Okay, so I've asked a question on um, what if I'm a carer but I'm having very severe physical symptoms, what can I do um, to deal with them? It's, um, it's, uh, it's a question, you know, I have to care for my father so I can understand uh, the thing. When I'm having, uh, if there's essential jobs to do around and you've got a caring role, but you've got an extreme chronic physical um, illness, um, one of the things that I, I know is that um, there has to be a balance, if you like, between um, when, if I feel stressed in doing a caring role or under pressure, then it's my, I'm going into fear or stress or anger and, and I'm cutting off the, my chi energy, meridian lines, to my kidneys, to my organs, to the vitality of the body. So then, it, and if I have any physical uh, weaknesses in my body, whether it's ki uh, kidney failure or whether it, it's chronic fatigue or whether it's a, an allergy, um, uh, I will find that they will flare up. Because if I'm trying to do work and care for someone, I'm going into stress and fear then the body will start to get weak while I hold this fear and stress and negative thinking in my mind. And so I'll start to feel physically depleted. So it then becomes essential that I uh, use my experience to leverage free time to restore my vitality and to uh, cancel the underlying belief systems which are disconnecting me. So it is possible um, uh, an enlightened, you could say an enlightened teacher is ne not doing any spiritual work because they're, um, they're like an empty channel that is being orchestrated by the universe and so they're not going into negative thinking and negative states and so an effortless flow arises in, for example, if there was a caring role uh, there would be that effortless state but while you're getting stressed and depleted in the body uh, you want to sort of uh, transcend uh, while you've got free time and rejuvenate the body and also cancel the karmas and the limiting beliefs which are creating uh, the, uh, the physical symptoms, um, the disabling symptoms, the chronic symptoms that are flaring up because you're um, in a caring role. So for example if you're getting fatigue um, like uh, or you're getting um, illness flare-ups then while you're not care in a caring role, uh, one of the things I learned was um, feeling the feelings. So I could feel that pain. If, if pain started to arise in the body when I was doing chores, I would take time out to just sit with that pain and feel it out. And then I'd start to get my energy back as I would sit with it and be in non-resistance to the pain and just allow it to come up and then dissipate. And then I could carry on uh, carry on doing things in the world for a short period of time before the pain would come back and then I'd have to sit down and feel it out. Um, I would intuit in the caring role what is the karma that means that I have to be in a caring role. Um, I like a Hawkins anti-karma prayer um, so let's say um, uh, I, it could be like I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who in this lifetime and past lifetimes has been a burden to others um, if it feels like a uh, person I'm caring for is a burden in any way and is depleting me uh, or, or, or taking me away from just uh, doing uh, uh, enjoyable spiritual practice. So I could, um, or I could place my, uh, whatever my fears are or whatever my guilt is, I could place that into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence around that uh, to try and um, to try and uh, you know take out those negative beliefs that are being activated while I'm in a caring role. Also, while in the caring role, I could be um, placing that person into God's infinite light. So I could be continuing doing my course lessons or counselling beliefs. Um, I could also, even though this takes a lot of practice, but the more you do the feel the feelings practice, i.e. allowing feelings without entering into a story around those feelings, for example, let's say um, you're caring for somebody, but there's uh, tiredness in the body. You could either practice being in the observer of the tiredness while you're caring for them. So the body is tired even though um, you're caring for this individual, but what's observing the tired body? 
So it takes a bit of um, practice doing this, but you can find that if you can be the observer of the tiredness while you're caring for the person, once you go to the detached observer of the tiredness, you'll start to get energy coming back into the body because you're not hooking into uh, the heaviness of the body and all the uh, limiting beliefs which are being activated. So doing the observer, or you could practice, um, even though it just takes some work, you know, um, uh, being in a caring role and um, just allowing oneself to try and practice the feel the feelings process without labeling or going into stories in the head and feel out tiredness or chronic symptoms uh, while you're doing it. Um, you also want to just pray, you know, you, you can pray to God uh, for God's uh, intuition as to what's the meaning of the karma that you're facing and what you need to clear. What are the symbolic lessons that are coming up for you in a caring role that this is something that you have to deal with? And you should start to get intuitions of things you need to pray or cancel or the symbolic meaning, which will then reframe or, or give you a more spiritualized perception, which will create less stress or even uh, reframe it so that one is in a higher state of love and not in uh, unconscious negativity or chronic symptoms because one is accessing those more infinite flow states. Um, so that's... Um, but I would just say with chronic symptoms, um, if, I'm doing, if I'm doing a caring role and I'm getting tired and depleted or I'm getting symptom flare-ups, um, then I do need to take time in the day to sit with those feelings or feel them out, go to the observer or do some uh, prayer practice because if I allow that to go on for too long, then the body will get too depleted in an extreme um, manner and then I won't be able to carry on in my care role effectively. So just praying for guidance in how to utilize all the processes. Um, I would definitely be with any uh, symptoms of flare-ups or tiredness, be cancelling the illnesses um, to try and delete those, feeling out the, the flare-ups uh, because I found that by feeling out the feeling out the flare-ups and cancelling whatever the belief systems are that are underlying it. And I also would uh, pray to clear up my relationship and my, what is the karmic significance of a caring role in my psyche that I'm faced with that. Um, as I keep doing that spiritual work, um, a lot of um, a, a much more effortless state and more miracles will start to enter the field of my caring role. But wishing you miracles to all carers who are going through that and transcendence. Let me just stop this.